question says a proton accelerates from rest in a uniform electric field of 600 newtons per coulomb. At some later time, its speed is 1.38 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. So in A, we're going to find the magnitude of acceleration. In B, we're going to find out the time, how long it takes to get to that speed. C, we're going to see how far the distance it moved in that interval. And D, what is its kinetic energy when it gets to that speed. So go ahead and write down everything that we know, um, and then we'll start setting up equations. So we know that the, the charge of a proton is equal in magnitude opposite in direction to the charge of an electron. So we'll put 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. We know that the mass of a proton is roughly 1.68 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. We know that the electric field is 600 newtons per coulomb. Uh, and we know that the final velocity is 1.38 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. So in part A it says find the, accelera the acceleration. So like we did in the last question, force equals mass times acceleration. But we also know that the force is equal to uh, the charge times the electric field. And so we just set QE over M is equal to acceleration. And that's going to be our equation for part A. Part B it says how long does it take for the proton to reach a speed. Again, the final velocity minus the initial velocity over T equals A. So if I put final velocity minus initial velocity over T equals A, then I could rearrange this and initial velocity is zero. So I could put that the final velocity over the acceleration is equal to the time. And that's our equation for part B. Make my T look better. How far has it moved in that interval? So delta X is equal to the initial velocity times time plus that's a plus, plus one half a t squared, and the initial velocity again is zero. So the, the distance is going to be equal to one half of a t squared. What is the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is equal to one half the mass times the, vo the velocity squared. So for part a, um, for q, you'll plug in 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. For E, you'll plug in 600, and for the mass, you'll divide that number by uh, 1.68 times 10 to the negative 27th. And you should get something like um, the acceleration is equal to 5.7 times 10 to the 10th meters per second. And now that we have the acceleration, we can plug that into this equation. So the final velocity, uh, 1.38 times uh, 10 to the 6th. Divide it by the 5.7 times 10 to the 10th. And that'll give us our, our time in seconds. And so you got to convert that to microseconds. You should get something like, like 2.415 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now remember, microseconds is negative sixth. So move your decimal over one more place and you get 24 microseconds, 24.15 microseconds. Okay, now that we have the time and the acceleration, we can plug both of those numbers in. So you would plug in 2.45 times 10 to the negative fifth, and then square that whole number. So I suggest just putting it in parentheses and then putting the square on the outside, just the easiest way to go. Um, and then multiplying that by the acceleration, multiplying that by 0.5 or by 1 half. And for the, the, uh, the distance, delta x, it should equal about 16.662 meters. And then last of all is the, the kinetic energy. You didn't need to make any other calculations. You already had the mass, the velocity, and so one half of mv squared. So you take one half times 1.68 times 10 to the negative 27th times, and then take v squared, so the 1.38 times 10 to the 6th. Like I said, put it all in parentheses and square it. So 1 half mv squared is going to give you a kinetic energy of uh, approximately 1.6 times 10 to the negative 15th joules. So you get a pretty good uh, velocity, and it doesn't take a whole lot of energy at all.